good day ladies and gentlemen Greg M your life on the go with your track and field update and I want to say I came across some news here I'm just scrolling through YouTube from um, this YouTuber TXT track time and um, she brought up this area night and information that got to some issues with some some doping right and you see the title there Olympic sprinter night not allowed to run at US trials after contamination case. And you know, I was wondering what happened to him, but I never physically looked to Google it or find out. Because you know, he was one of the top 200 meter runners in the world. I think he's what 19 now or something. So I was kind of curious why I hadn't heard him. So I just figured he was just trying to get really ready for the, the, the 200 at the um, Olympics. And of course, the upcoming US trials. And I just didn't bother to check. I was just waiting until he shows up, right? And and do his thing. But then I saw TXT track time, big up store, and she brought it up. And I see the reason why now he was having some issues. Let's read the article. There he is right there. Sprinter Aaron Knighton. And oh, by the way, this is from the AP. Sprinter Aaron Knight tested positive for a banned substance that an arbitration panel determined came from contaminated meat. A decision that keeps the 200 meter specialist eligible to run at the upcoming US Olympic trials. <laughs> Let me stop right there. So all these athletes that test positive over the years can get, could have actually said, I eat some meat that was full of some kind of performance enhancing substance that was in the meat that I didn't know of. I'm a healthy athlete. I, I, I practice good nutrition, all natural. No way I could be doping. You know, I, I just train hard and run fast. So I guess now all the athletes, when they test positive, no, this is going to be the new thing. I ate some contaminated meat. Let me read the rest of this. Okay, you know, I'm covering this in a way. I like... Ah, Aaron Nathan, but and he's a young guy too. You know, and if his coaching staff made a mistake with not vetting the substance that they use for the nutrition, to me that's on them. Cause they're supposed to be professional, not just the athlete. Anyway, the twenty-year-old from Florida who holds the under eighteen and under twenty records in the two hundred meters tested positive for the performance enhancer Trent Balloon during an out-of-competition test in March. According to the U.S. Anti-Doping Agency, which reveals detail of the case Wednesday. Though the arbitration panel cleared Knighton to run in the 200 starting June 27, the decision can be appealed by either the Athletic Integrity Unit, which oversees doping in track and field, or the World Anti-Doping Agency. So we have to stand by and see if that's going to happen. What a spokesman, James Fitzgerald, Fitzgerald said, as it always does, WADA will review this case and reserve the right to take an appeal to the court of arbitration for sports as appropriate. Them have to think about that one. <laughs> the AIU did not return an email from the Associated Press seeking comment. We did what the rules require us to do in all positive cases. USADA CEO Travis Taggart said, we can take comfort that justice was served and the transparency are and that transparency as required by the rules was achieved. How are they going to justify that statement now? I, I, I can see why in, and I agree with the, the young lady on TXC track time to be upset and spreading the word and bring attention to this because the playing field is not balanced. You know, US athletes still get preference and benefit of the doubt over all other athletes across the world. Come on now. Come on now. Something is, is not right with that. Something is definitely not right with that. Let me see. Let me see if I can find the other article here. Because they have um, a singer, right? That was banned. And you see that right there. As some... A singer banned four years as records trip for doping positive. And this is also by the Associated Press. I guess it's a follow-up from last year when all this stuff occurred. 
And I think this young man is from, um, he lives here in the US, but he's from another country. I forgot. Um, I don't want to say the country yet until I can confirm it. Because he, he ran for South American country. So the sprinter who set the, the under 20 world record at the 100 meters has been banned for four years and has his record stripped. After anti-doping official ruled against his claim that his positive test for performance enhancer came from eating recovery gummies. Who gave him the recovery gummies? And I think when I saw the, this video on another track and field channel, um, you know, it was some kind of sponsored thing or somebody gave it to him. I don't know, coaches. Let me read this thing. Anyway, the Athletic Integrity Unit which runs track and field anti-doping operation announced the penalties Monday for Assam a single who ran under the uh, under 20 record of 989 seconds in the 100 meter at South American Championship last summer. A single plans to appeal his decision to the court of arbitration for sport. Any ruling before the Paris Games later this summer appears unlikely. So again, them so this young man. They're making sure that he can't even appeal and get a decision before the Olympics. Which is next month. And Aaron Knighton got busted when? Uh, you know, just a couple months ago. We just want to save Assam's career, his attorney Paul J. Green said in a Zoom interview with the Associated Press that included a singer and his mom. He just wants his life back. The 19 year old sprinter represent Suriname burst onto the track, track and, and um, the track scene by beating world champion Noah Lyles in late April 2023 in a winning at the time of 93. A singer has been suspended since August when he tested positive for a banned substance called GW1516, which was developed to build endurance and burn fat, but failed medical trials when it was found to cause cancer during tests on rodents. What the hell? A singer said he took gummies that were supposed to aid in his recovery. Right? So, you know, someone is in charge of his, um, the man 18 years old. Some, his coaching staff is responsible for vetting things, making sure you, you call water, check the, the, the list of banned substances, make sure these things don't got any ingredients in it. Right? So, and, and if they check it and it wasn't in there, it's not the man's fault. Anyway, a singer said he took the gummies that were supposed to aid in his recovery. He said they were part of a Gatorade gift bag he received when he traveled to Los Angeles in recognition of being named Gatorade Athlete of the Year for track and field. Look at that. So Aaron Knighton can say, I eat some contaminated meat and that's why I test positive for this you know, performance enhancing drug, this banned substance. This man get a package of Gatorade uh, gummies from Gatorade. For that's supposed to aid in his recovery and get a red not responsible. I mean, yeah, the coach, you know, you know, everybody's trusting these are reputable, are supposed to be reputable organizations, and you're trusting them. They always, you know, have collaboration with athletes from all corners, you know, not just track and field, but you know, you're talking your NFL and your, your NBA, your, your professional baseball, hockey, you name it, tennis, golf. And they're always giving out something. Of course, you know, track and field to me is the most tested. The athletes in track and field are the most tested than any other athletes in the world, in my opinion. Right? I don't think they test the NFL and NBA players and baseball, uh, you know, and, and um, golf, tennis, as, as, as rampant as they test track and field athletes. And track and field athletes make the least money than all the other sports. So he said, this is, this is disturbing, man. So he took the gummies to aid in his recovery, as the article says. And they were part of a Gatorade gift bag when he traveled to Los Angeles in recognition of being named the Gatorade Athlete of the Year for track and field. What they did? Sabotage this young man? Because he's not running for the United States. I'm in a position where I know I didn't do anything wrong and I'm not going to give up on my dream as singer who attends Texas A&M on a scholarship told the AP it's just outrageous disregarding the facts and just trying to twist the narrative against me. A singer said two containers of the gummies reveal the presence of a band of, band 
of the banned substance, but the AIU panel that heard his case said he did not satisfy the burden of proof that the gummies were the source of drug found in his sample. In a statement issued Monday, a singer said the lot number of the Gatorade recovery gummies that he consumed weren't the same as the one tested in his case. His statement added that requests to obtain a sealed container from the ex exact lot number for testing were denied by the PepsiCo company. So you see, they don't want to be caught up in, a, in, in, in any kind of uh, accountability. So they're denying it because they big billion dollar corporation. They don't want to be involved. They don't want to get caught in the wrong and have to pay up. So the young man suffer. Because he's just a little peon to them. Just a little 18 year old. Who cares? Then just find another athlete. I did a singer. Sadly in 2023, while I was still in high school, when, when I was still a high school senior, PepsiCo gave me a Gatorade gift package which contained Gatorade recovery gummies. Displaying the industry approved NSF certified for sport logo. The containers given to me were later tested at at a water accredited laboratory which identified that the product given to me was contaminated with GW15160 the same substance I tested positive for in trace amounts further it turned out that the lot number on the container given to me was not from the NSF certified for sport lot not even gonna read any further just to compare this whole raw deal this young man is getting right and yet Aaron Knighton can get away with, oh, you know, it, you know, I, I was um I eat a contaminated meat. So I think I need to say, you know what? I eat some contaminated meat. Now did they did they find the contaminated meat that restaurant or the grocery store that served this meat? Did they go there and, and test those meat and say, oh it, it is confirmed that we found the same substance in the meat? I don't see nothing like that. At least a singer went and got the gummies tested and it had the same trace elements that he tested positive for and they tried to get PepsiCo to, to, to produce some info to help out and then decide not to help the man but when they want to get promoted and use at least name to promote their product because they have a following so they can make even billions more for their business and their cooperation and get rich while not paying their athlete hardly anything especially track and field athletes they get they get really ripped off when it comes to, to sponsorship and, and, and money. I remember track and field of a professional side. It's, a, it's not just amateur. At least can go professional now from high school if they're running fast. But they, you know, they have to fight tooth and nail to get sponsors and get a decent salary. There's still lots of track and field athletes coaching themselves. Don't have a team. Don't have a nutrition team. Don't have a a, a, a team of trainers to help them with recovery and injury and anything like that and, and strength training and it's just talent that they're going off of and can hardly get a sponsorship because they, they, they're not able to produce top 5 in the world times or whatever it's like if you're not top 5 in the world you don't get paid right if you're not Noah Niles or Shakari who are to fight to get to their, to their spot you let them start having one bad performance and see how everything just disappear. Right? But anyway, I just wanted to follow up on this. I couldn't let this just slide. Um, like I said, I like the young man. And to me, it's their team. Right? Now, if they can prove that, all right, let's get the meets. If they can get cooperation, because they might just say, no, we're not going to participate in that. Just like PepsiCo did. Test the meat, see if it have banned substance. But I can tell in the future now, Asenga have a great appeal now. It's a pity he had to wait a year later for Aaron Knight to get in, in trouble. And based on how, and then look how they're talking about justice. You know, they're satisfied and, you know, with Aaron Knight's situation. And they're going, they're going to allow him to run. You can't have this kind of double standard. And I, I assume it's because it's a US athlete, they get the benefit of the doubt. It's not the first time that allegedly other US athletes have tested positive and the US sweep it under the rug. Because you know, it's the USA, we're the best and the greatest. But everybody else, no, you, you're not, you, know, you must be doing something wrong. Okay, they deserve to be banned. 
Because only the U.S. Is, is, is on the right side of everything. Now Senga represent Suriname. And he, he ran a great time as a high school youth. Had a great future. But didn't get the same. Went in front of the same panels. But didn't get the same benefit of the doubt. Both of these people young. And the teams and the people who providing these sponsorship and giving them these supplements, they are to blame. They should be the one held accountable. You can't be giving at least, knowing that at least face, especially track and field at least, face tough drug testing, you know, procedures. Out of, you know, whereabouts testing, they test them out of um, competition while they off-season training. And can test them at any time and show up at the doorstep. They could be having... A, a romantic dinner with their wife, they show up, I need to test you. Like you in prison, like you're on probation. I still can have a problem with that. There's a better way to do all that, but you know, that didn't happen in my time when I was a, a track and field athlete. You know, you just get tested at the event. But because the cheating gets so bad, like with the Russian athlete, them and so forth. You know, and other athletes started getting busted. They started wanting to live in the playing field. And it's okay, you want to Weed out the cheats, of course. But um, I think a, a singer need to need to um, appeal this, and we're gonna watch his space and see what happens if they give the young man a chance. Now they're saying he might not be able to still represent the, in the Olympics for his country before you know, because again, this stuff just come up. Aaron Knight is getting a chance to go to his trials, and possibly he's gonna make the team. More than likely. I don't know if it affected him because he wasn't able to train and this thing messed up his head. So we'll see what happens, how he performs. But it's kind of messed up. It's messed up. Anyway, that's it. That's all I have. You know, we'll talk next time. We'll watch his space. Until next time. Oh, remember, like, share, and subscribe this video to help me out. I've seen where some of my videos are, are getting like, you know... 600 views and 400 and something views and even more but i'm not getting that much likes and subscribers so you know help me out and um you know the algorithms will promote my videos and get me up there pushed up in the in the youtube universe and you know you know get me where i need to be but anyway that's it for now till next time